Good evening, guys. So I was taking out some saws from uh, the roof from one of my workshops, and I had forgotten I had a few, a few, two. I have two Tanaka saws, which are um, really, really unusual. If you, a lot of people aren't, aren't aware of the name, and. So again, probably a little later than I'm going to carry on collecting, I think, although I, <laughs> even as I do the video, I'm a little bit reluctant. So this is um, just because some of the older Tanakas are really hard to find. So um, not sure about the pronunciation, Tanaka Kyojo, Kyogo. So this is one of my ECV, um, 5501s and very distinctive style the the Tanaka this particular model has this kind of torsion bar which goes from the back handle to the front and just makes it a little bit more rigid and obviously it's AV mounted and there's a few very interesting designs on it so at the side here, it looks a little bit like some of the partner saws, for very good reason. And, and at the back, it looks very similar again to a couple of the 50cc partner saws. The unusual rear AV mount. So, tank, all mag alloy, and beautifully made, all mag alloy, obviously chain brake. Um, Running a this runs a, a 46 mil piston and are a 32 mil stroke engine, so identical then to the Husky, um, identical to the Husky 50. So, based on a Husky 50, as far as I'm aware, um, and the 350, same footprint. So, 46 mil piston, 32 mil stroke, around three horsepower, and of course, the partners, which some of these things do look very similar on top. The partner, of course, is running a Two mil smaller piston, uh, like the, the 55 is running uh, 44 with a 36 mil stroke, so four mil more on the stroke. Um, 325 pitch running gear, and so this one has never been cut with by me, and it's just been hanging up just because it was alongside my uh, my other Japanese saws in the, my Echo saws, um, and but of course. She has a badge on her, which is Husqvarna, and it says Husqvarna uh, Tanaka ECV 5501. So part of the Husqvarna group, so Tanaka have, have got Husqvarna to, um, or Tanaka have got this from Husqvarna and put it in their lineup with just really proven working in internals. So gorgeous running engine, and can't wait to show her and do the first cut on camera. So somewhere for this lady and for my other 4501, not sure if I said the age, so from around 1990, something like that. So still, is that classed as vintage anymore? I'm not sure actually. My perception and perspective on vintage has probably shifted recently. Maybe, maybe 50 years old for me now is more vintage, which I would class as vintage, but she's still, um, maybe she falls into a classic category. Around 30 years old has, Make sure that's off. Absolutely fantastic compression is, as far as I can tell, all the way around is undamaged. Everything works on the saw and um, I've taken the silencer off to photograph the piston and you can still see all the machine marks on the piston. So absolutely perfect in that regard. So I'll show you how she runs. Choke, choke off.
So beautiful running engine and it starts exactly as you'd expect her to. Excellent chain brake. And so although she is only two cc's less than something like the partner, the you know the R16 or the S55 or the F55, all those variations doesn't have the same noise as the partner. So what'll be really interesting is um, let's see how she cuts in comparison. Running a 325 setup as opposed to the the three eighths of the of the um, oops, little cut of the of the partner saw and. Actually, I can't think what the Husqvarna 50 is running now, whether not that's, I think my Husqvarna 50, when I had one, I think that's running the same, 325 pitch as well. So, I may, guys, I might just grab the, I'll pause the camera, I might just, just tighten that up as we're back to do our first cut. Don't want to run the, so with the chain loose, back in a second, guys. Hey, guys. So... You know, I'm starting to think chainsaws are dangerous. <laughs> wow, what a splinter. Okay, um, so it's pointless running this if it's um, chain's not tension. Just so like that. Just light tension. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Just a snug. So interestingly, the gentleman I bought the Tanaka from He'd never run the saw and he'd never cut with her. And when she came into my ownership, she had, I think these are a Walbro car, but can't actually remember actually now. I think they're a Walbro, not a Weber. I'm pretty sure they're a Walbro. And so she had the correct carburetor kit complete. And she had the correct Husqvarna uh, new fuel filter pickup assembly, new plug, hence the running. You know, she just runs, runs beautifully. And as I say, she has somewhere I have a brand new chain which is a bit perplexing so if I I'll probably list her today so if I find the chain or put it in the listing and then she'll come with this chain which well she looks sharp and probably 50% like but also I have a somewhere there's another brand new chain for her because um, I bought one for for that and for her for her sister okay Let's see how this door cuts, can't wait. Kill switch. So again, choke, throttle off, all in one on the lever. guys wow so she's 
That was so strange. The running characteristics. I should have brought out one of my other. Um, should have brought out my Farmer Fifty Five. Uh, I'd have loved to have tried that back to back. So, doesn't have the same sound as the, as the partner. Sounds both. Well, sounds, sounds identical actually to my to the Husky Fifty. So, I guess it would. Same running gear, same piston, just different uh, different chassis parts, and um, but still cuts really really beautifully. Cuts so so well. Um, it's quite an aggressive chain actually, but that's just just looking at the the wood chips coming off, kind of inch in length. So beautiful, uh, beautiful performance. All look at these devils. Two inches. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, boy. So what was that? That's about. Uh, so she's running a. Um, she's got an 18-inch uh, bar and chain set up on, and as I say, I think I have. Well, I have. I've got a brand new chain somewhere. So I'll endeavour to find that when I'm pulling out uh, a couple of my other solo saws and. Hopefully, guys, suitable for one of you out there. This is the amazing Tanaka. She's in beautiful condition. Let me show her on a restart. Um, just flawless running. Guys, thanks for watching. So that's the, uh, the Tanaka, and even if that's not one, uh, just look at it, these. Uh, <laughs> look at the size of these uh, shavings off that off that chain. Wow, that's over two inches long. Crazy. So even if you're not interested in perhaps owning that one, it's just it's nice to see just what some of the more perhaps less mainstream on the face of it brands. Um, cut like but then when you look closely underneath there you go that's that's a husk vanner um, internal but just in this beautiful shape badged tanaka thanks for watching guys more videos to follow bye for now